Hey. Can you tell us how to get to Magnetic Hill? Is that a no? Okay. Thanks then. Hey everyone, so today we are in Springer, Oklahoma, Gene Autry, Oklahoma area, and we are doing something different. What are we doing? Um, we're going to Magnetic Hill. Going to Magnetic Hill. Now the interesting thing is, she just recently got her learner's permit, so this is her first time driving with me, and I totally <laughs> trust how this is going to go. Got my seat belt on, helmet. I'm ready. I have no idea how good of a driver she is. She's been through driver's ed, but I've never been through anything, so I'm completely prepared. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. We're really ready. She didn't know how to start it. It's keyless start. Put your foot on the brake. I forgot which one. Is it the big one? Oh, Lord. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in trouble. I think it is. Oh, yeah. Let's go. We're in trouble. She doesn't even know how to start a car. There's a car. Oh, there's mm -hmm. a big old truck. Okay. okay. Seat belts on. Can you see out these mirrors? Oh my God. Uh, I, can, I can't see out them. I can see them. Adjust the mirrors. Number one thing when you get in the car is mm -hmm. adjust the mirrors. Mm -hmm. So I thought this would be interesting. We got a first time driver and what better way to throw off their driving skills than <laughs> to go backwards up Magnetic Hill. Well, just wait till they pass. You, you did successfully pass driver's ed, correct? <laughs> okay. Well, I saw the certificate. Oh, how convenient. There's a hearse in case something happens to us. That's really good. Okay, so... I don't know what the speed limit is either. The, this, don't worry about the speed limit. It tells you up there it's 65. Okay, so I can go faster. And, yeah, you can go faster. You don't have to go turtle pace. Is it scary? Yes. <laughs> Okay, just stay on this side of the road. So folks, we are on Highway 53. I think my mirrors aren't adjusted right. Well, you were supposed to adjust the mirrors I before we I got could, going. I could see it. Somehow she can't see now. So Magnetic Hill is ways away, but obviously it's affecting her. But anyways, we are on Highway 53, and we are going to make a right and go north on Pioneer Road. Okay, so the only time that I've actually seen her drive was some go-karts, and it was pretty scary because she thinks the little bumper rails on the side are what keeps you on the road, so we don't even have curbs right here to keep us on the road, but we are kind of out in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. It's just green pastures, cows, trees, stuff like that, but no better place to learn how to drive than this. So right up ahead, you can see a white dot in the middle of the road. That's actually another car that is currently trying out Magnetic Hill. Just to kind of give you some background on this, there's a couple of urban legends on this. One is that uh, this is, of course, old Indian country. And so one of the stories is that uh, some Indians were mad that their land got taken or that they've, there's several stories, but that they're, that they've died out here and their spirits are still out here and that they would push wagons even when people rode around in wagons. Another urban legend is that a woman died on this road with her kids and that her kids haunt this road and that her kids will actually push your car backwards up the hill. So you want to keep pulling up until you hit this red post and there's a white line in the road. You see it? Okay. Woo! <laughs> you got to work on that braking. Like I said, you want to pull your car all the way up until you reach this white line right here. And right beside that white line is this post right here. And there may or may not be all these curious cows out here looking at you like you're crazy which we may be. Okay, so at this point, we are going to take the car and put it in neutral, and then the car is gonna roll uphill backwards. So here we go, she's putting it in neutral, maybe. And we're gonna start, you, now you're just gonna watch the road. <laughs> are you terrified? <laughs> just a little bit. 
Okay, so watch the road okay. and you got to try to pay attention. Now, if you feel like we're going off the road, please kind of step on the brake because <laughs> it's muddy. It's rained a lot and we've had some snow and ice and we'll probably sink in that and we're just in this little nerd mobile. So, anyways, the car is in neutral. Nobody switched it. The cows are staring at us. And so let's go. Take your foot off. Foot is off the brake. Take it totally off. Totally off. Totally off. Move your foot. I move the car. Okay. Here we are. We are rolling backwards. Just make sure there's no cars behind us. There's not. Okay. This is pretty scary. I don't know about how her heart is, but the fear of us rolling off of the road. It's pretty scary, but here we are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're probably going, what, about 12 miles an hour backwards? I think I'm in the middle of the road. Yeah, we're we're swerving all over the place. Uh, uh, are we close? It's almost like we're a drunk driver here. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead and, let's go ahead and stop it. Uh, yeah, we're in the middle of the road. I think we're on the other lane. <laughs> middle of the road. <laughs> Do you feel like you executed that well? Yes, actually. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Here they are, right here. We're gonna try this again and they've... I've got a tripod camera out there and so they're trying to check out and see what that is. But you guys didn't know I was the cow whisperer. Just kidding. Okay, so let's try this again. Put it in neutral down there. Okay. It's in neutral? Yep. Alright, let's let's give another try here. See if we can stay on the road a little bit better. Or at least in this lane. This is something they don't teach you in driver's ed, but I think maybe they should. Yeah, you don't really have to steer, just kind of keep it straight. If you pay attention to the lane in front of you, then you can kind of guide. It's a straight road. Yeah, we're going off the road. <laughs> it just took, it went really fast all the time. Okay. Um, <laughs> right when I paid her a compliment saying that she's doing great and she's staying on the road. <laughs> We went completely oh crooked, and I thought we were going to hit this telephone pole there. I want y'all to look at this. I mean, you want to talk about giving me a heart attack. Look at this. We're completely in the middle of the road. Look at that. Completely stayed in her lane right there. Okay, so after that little swerve in the road, I decided I probably better try it. I don't want to get stuck all the way out here. So, uh, anyways, we're going to give it a try with me driving, and we're going to try and go up the hill here. Here we are. We have pulled up to it. So we're going to place it in park, and then we are going to place it in neutral. And we're at the base of where this hill is. And it starts going up backwards from here. Just to prove you there, we are in neutral. And so I'm going to take my foot off of the brake down here. Right there, we'll take that foot off. So here we are. Going backwards. really a weird feeling to just have your car in neutral and be going straight back uphill. It's definitely something that you need to come try. And there is another magnetic hill that's in Oklahoma but this one's great to experience. A lot of people come and try it. I'm gonna try and swerve through the middle of the road like my daughter did. And if you look, we're going about 12 miles an hour uphill here. 
pretty weird. Like I said, we are still in neutral going uphill here. Very strange. What do you think about this? Mm, it's weird. I mean, Definitely. did you think this was possible? No. Mm -mm. You got any theories on it? Um, I don't know how these animals are, like if they're affected by it, that would be weird, huh? So you, you mean it, like if they lay down on the ground, maybe they get dragged uphill or <laughs> no, something? No, not that they can get dragged uphill, but like if they have like problems with their hill. Do you think it's the metal in the car? Like it's really a magnet that is pulling this? I, I don't know. Because the, the old timey rumor is that, you know, that even the wood wagons and horseback would get pulled backwards up this hill when it was a dirt road. I don't know. you got any theories on this leave a comment below and if you want detailed directions on how to get here I'm gonna have that below in the comments as well it's very strange how you can just move uphill like this so we've done this a few times going backwards uphill and I think we have finally figured out how this is possible the secret to it is that got to get 